Hello everybody. Um, quite a few people have asked me to do a video showing how I mix my paint for the the Sheely Blooms. Um, I haven't taken her course because quite frankly I can't afford to. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. Um, basically, Blooms have got three layers. You've got your pillow paint, which is your base paint. Uh, you've got your colours. And you've got your cell activator. So for the, the pillow paint, the base paint, I've used home base own matte magnolia simply because it was what I already had. Okay, so I've poured that into, I've just poured a load into a cup and I've added uh, just because on this one that I did the last video, I think. I've noticed a couple of hairline cracks. So to my base paint, the pillow paint, I've added um, four ounces of GAC 800, just to help with the crazing, see if it makes a difference. And then I've also added about half an ounce of water, about 10 drops. And I've just mixed all that together. And it's still very thick if you can see the consistency it has to be thick so that your colours can basically float on the top so that's the base for the colours the pouring medium for the colours is this it's Valspar wooden metal interior gloss and you need to buy the base C. Um, if you just go to the car, this was bought from B and Q. Um, if you just go to the counter where they mix your colours and ask them for this one and tell them that you want a base C but you want it untinted, you don't want any colour print to it, then they'll give you this one. She was very helpful in B and Q when I went in. Only a young girl, she's really helpful. Uh, I'll just show you what that looks like. Creamy in colour. Okay, so I use three normal tablespoons of that. One it doesn't have to be precise. It's one, two. It is quite expensive this place. I think I paid £23 for this one. And that's how much is in here. Can't see without my glasses. One litre. So it is quite expensive. So I'm trying to find a, a cheaper alternative. And then to that, just get that off my spoon, don't waste it. And wipe your spoon off. And to that three tablespoons, I add one tablespoon of Mod Podge. It's the uh, gloss one. Okay. So one tablespoon of that. Okay, and just mix that together.
and then it looks like that. Okay, so we use that to mix our colours. So the colours I'm going to use today are black system 3 Dale Rowney gold system 3 Dale Rowney and if I can find it silver Sinelli A I think that's how you say it so we just get It's roughly one part paint to three parts of this. So I'm just going to get a blob. Not that much. And I'm going to guess three parts of that. It's a bit one, two, three. I don't measure it, I just guess. We've got the gold. Ooh, that's a big blob. You don't need that much. I wish I had a bit more pouring medium. So I'll put four parts pouring medium to this. And black. Pouring medium, it's about it. We'll just mix these up. the gold and see how thick it is. Silver. If it's too thin just add a bit more paint. If it's too thick you could try a bit more pouring medium or even a bit of gack if you want to. So that's quite thin compared to the other one so I'm going to add a little bit more paint. Just that much. That's better. In the black. okay we only need a bit of that because black does take over so that's our two layers which is the base paint the pillow paint which is the emulsion then that one the Valspar and the Mod Podge is for the colours and then the uh, cell activator I've used just white, which is Dale Rowney. I didn't have the Amsterdam. Um, let's get a stick. It's a real good blobbing. It has to be quite runny, but you don't want to break the pigments down too much. Close. 
and then just water. I always use bottled water. I don't know if it makes a difference. That's my white. I've put about six drops of water. It might be too much water actually. Just take some mixing when it's just with water. It can be very frustrating to get the hang of doing these. I almost gave up. And then, um, I can't remember her name. I asked someone. I think she's in Ireland on YouTube and she um, told me that she got the Valspar from B&Q so I tried that and it worked uh, I bought a polyurethane varnish and it didn't work but that was without the Valspar so I, I thought I'd try the Mod Podge it's, this is uh, five pounds from Amazon which is a lot better than all the money I've spent on paints It might be all right actually. So there's just a blob of white, about six drops of water. It might be a little bit thick, but we'll try it. Okay, if you can see that. Okay, let's see if it works. And it's best while you, when you're practicing, when you're trying to get it, just use tiles because you'll waste so much paint if you do any go any bigger. So we've got our tile, our base paint, our emulsion. It's very thick. There it goes. You need it quite thick where you're going to put the coloured paints because it needs to float and you need to be able to blow down without going down to the tile. Uh, that's plenty of paint. I'll smooth it out around the edges. gold on first. You can torch a little bit but not being used to using emulsion paint I would only do it a little bit because that but that is full of bubbles so you can just use a cocktail stick. See I think I've burnt it there a little bit. It's really easy to burn. Our goal first. In the black, not too much, you only need a little bit. In the silver, you do need to have patience with this, it's very slow. So that's our colours now. The cell activator, which is the white and water. Just blob on the top. Maybe another blob. 
And another blob. Okay. Now this part, try not to blow all the way down to the tile. You've got to blow on the white, blow down and out. If you know what I mean, it's hard to describe. That's where the patience comes in, because you've now got a dent in the middle. If you start to tilt, it, this side is going to go over the middle, so you need to wait for the middle to pop back up. You can do this and whatever, oh god, it doesn't really seem to do a lot, but people seem to do it. So while that's doing that, I'll just show you again. Or your puddle. I might do a few on this one actually, just see what happens. I'm not going to torch it because it does burn and that might be what causes the crazing so just pop the big ones I'll destroy a few on this one I'm going to do one here so I'm going to put a bit extra paint down and we'll pillow uh, what did I do? gold gold And the whites. Let's do one over here. Gold. A bit more gold around that one. Sorry, I'm mumbling. I'm going to put a bit more gold around this one.
yellow one. I find this bit the most nerve wracking. And I've dropped a few. So I'll give it this one. Alright, so this paint's messy. Alright, so just tilt to one corner. I might speed this part up because it, it does run very slow. Sorry about that, someone called me. Why do they always wait to call you when you're doing a video? And it's always sales. Bring it back to the centre. Slowly. The last corner is very slow because there's not so much paint left. Almost there.
طيب And just bring it back to the middle without dropping it. Need to come back a bit more, but I'll do that off camera. one they're already hanging off the sides we should have done them more towards the center I'm going to lose one of them, I think. Maybe two. I think we're going to put one in the middle. God.
you see what I mean about tilting early see what what's happening to the middle the outer edge is trying to go over it so just keep keep your eye on that it is best to wait for it to lift back up I just love how you can stretch and stretch and stretch them and they don't break. If they do break when you do it, it's probably because you've got too much water in the cell activator. So just add a bit more paint. I'll come back with that one because it's taking too long. Yeah, we'll finish that one off camera. So you get the idea. I hope you understand a bit better now. Um, I know I was totally confused. I kept saying to myself, well, what's a pillow? Is that, is that the base paint? And so, and I haven't got much patience, so. I threw a few things around while I was trying to get it. <laughs> okay, so I hope that helps. And I'll see you soon.